You know, tire pressure is important all year round. In fact, the proper inflation of your tires, you'll get better gas mileage. But when it rains hard, and we're going to see some heavy rain, it looks like overnight, well, then you hydroplane. So here's the deal. With the less tire pressure, if it's, if it's below what it should be, you have less pressure pushing down. What does that mean? Well, less of the tires actually making contact with the road. That's a problem when you have heavy rain. So if it's not properly inflated, you can usually find those numbers on the inside of your door. You've got to check that and make sure that they're inflated. You'll be less likely to hydroplane when heavy rain rolls in. You also get better gas mileage. Now let's talk about that. What happens when you have underinflated tire pressure? We'll try to do some numbers for you here. Okay, so let's say you're really low. Let's say you're, you're driving along and you're only looking at about 25 uh, uh, pounds per square inch. Well, you can hydroplane at 45 miles an hour. That's all. And some of the rain coming tonight, that's, that's very possible. Now, let's say you're at 30. Now, you hydroplaned about 50 miles an hour. So, again, the more pressure you have, the higher speed you hydroplane, but you still have to be careful. At 35, now you're hydroplaning around 53 miles per hour. And then if you do a little bit more, like 40 PSIs, and a lot of tires don't take 40. Please don't inflate your tires to 40 uh, pounds per square inch unless you know they take 40. But now you're hydroplaning at around 57 miles per hour. So tire pressure important all year round, but in winter time, you have to, add, have to add more pressure to your tires because it's colder. And when it rains in winter, it doesn't always take snow to make it slippery.